spine. It, but once it hits the, the foramen magnum, it kind of comes a bit anterior. And that's important to realize how forces are affected, both in, a, in, a, in something like a concussion or just even in treatment. Also, for the orientation of the cranial nerves that come off of the brainstem. And that's what I wanted, I wanted to give a minute to that. Um, when you're treating here, uh, we can catch some of the facial nerve here. We can catch some branch of the facial nerve here. As well as around the ear. The trigeminal nerve is feeding the mandibular, maxillary, and kind of frontal regions here like this. It's kind of splays like this off of a central, um, it's not really, we don't call it really the nuclei here, but it's just a central trunk, that trigeminal. And that's about right. You can contact that here, just at about the level of the ear, a little anterior to the ear, deep central head. So this is a an exterior landmark that's coming off deep. Now it's not that when it's feeding here, it's obviously come more exteriorly from the brainstem. But and these are really useful for treating uh, dental. Uh, dental traumas, dental issues, people have pain from implants, people have pain from, uh, well, all kinds of things dental. Um, you know, I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of different things. It can, of course, be involved in trigeminal, uh, well, you know, trigeminal neuralgia, but what I really meant to say was TMJ and jaw issues. So that's another thing we can do is if you open the jaw, please. So as we open the jaw, you create a little bit of a gap here, and then if you close, so that's another way to gain some access here. And that's really, would you do it again, please? Thank you. And you can see how we go, this just creates a little dip, but we fall right into this and then close. And it kind of pushes that out. Now, even if we just do that a few sequences, it's kind of just that movement and mild stimulation here creates, it, it, it will open up this jaw, will open up this ear often. So will the treatment of this, um, this area here, this branch off of the um, facial nerve, the facial nerve here. What's interesting with the auditory canal is the auditory, the auditory canal actually is innervated by three cranial nerves. It has the trigeminal, uh, the vagus, and the uh, facial nerve. Each innervate that um, auditory canal. I think I just find that fascinating. So if someone has some um, either inner ear stuffiness or ringing in their tinnitus, these things, uh, it's worth looking at those different potential elements that might be affecting that. That's good.